Right, okay, come on, settle down, guys, settle down. This is a briefing room, not a zoo. Santiago, put the banana away. You know how I feel about eating during the briefings. No, no eating, and certainly no bananas. A lot to go through today, Monday, 21st of October. This is your briefing and assignments for the day. Scotland's SNP government has said there are 24 genders. So, um, we're in the process of redoing the arrest forms. That might take some time. If you come across any gender that you're not quite sure about, um, just write it down. You know, if there's not a box for it, just write it down. We'll see what we can do. Um, there's been some criticism of the government here because they've been called, what shall we say, stupid? Or even um, disconnected from the real world. And I don't quite get it because John Swiney, you know, the, the FM, he said that there were only two genders way back in July. Which is a bit strange. Quite sad, really, isn't it? Liam Payne, 31. Sorry, incident in Argentina where he's died. Um, the Super's quite keen on someone to go out there and check this out. You know, let, let's just say we're not quite sure there's no foul play involved. So um, he said he, he said have to send the best detective out there. Um, so, Hunt, Hunt, why are you getting up? No, just sit down, Hunt. He said I have to send the best detective. Tiger, you and Jordan go. Uh, and by the way, the department is not paying for your whiskey this time. Cagney and Lacey, if you could go around and do the family liaison here. Look, 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 hold on. Yeah, I know. I know I'm picking on you because you're girls, but come on. Have a look around. What am I meant to work with? So who would you suggest? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Fair point. Okay, uh, next next item, death in custody. We need to check out a uh, death that's occurred in prison custody. You know, a chap of 61 that was arrested during the riots for shouting at the police and saying that maybe they were protecting the wrong people and was then um, jailed for two years and eight months. Apparently he took his own life, so... Go around and uh, and check that one out. Hunt, you take this one. You and Drake can deal with it. <laughs> it's your neck of the woods anyway, so make sure it's all above board. Oh, we've had reports of an illegal worker without a hygiene certificate working in McDonald's. Um, I've got a pic picture to circulate, so have a, have a look at this guy. Uh, Peralta and Santiago, you can take this one. Do some digging. If it, if it turns out it's just... If it's just a hygiene certificate, let environmental health deal with it. We're not bothered about that. Angel and Butterman, could you go down to the hospital and make sure that everyone who is going into the hospital feels well? Because apparently the hospital have asked that people that aren't feeling well haven't to come to the hospital. I'm not quite sure what the hospital's meant to be doing if people that aren't feeling well aren't meant to go, but, you know, who are we to question the, the higher-ups? Oh, and Angel, curb your enthusiasm a little bit this time, could you? Because two of the two of the cells are getting painted pink. Yeah, apparently it's some kind of psychological test to see if it calms down the prisoners. Um, so, so we're a bit low on cells, so don't go arresting everybody. Angel, that lollipop woman you arrested last week for stopping the traffic, Chief Inspector wants to have a word with you about that. I think you might have been a little bit overzealous, so see him after the briefing. Ah, Schneider, good of you to join us. Come in, sit down, you know, take a weight off. Don't bother about the start time. So the US election. Apparently the Soros family's been uh, channeling plenty of money into the Democratic Party. And in fact, Kamala has just revealed she spent $270 million in the last month, I think, mainly on adverts. Um, whereas Trump's only about 93, so he... He really needs to pull the finger out and get some more spending done. Musk's super PAC has started giving money to voters or offering money to voters if they vote for a particular... or if they, I'm not sure if it's if they vote for a person or if they just vote. Either way, I think it's looking a bit dodgy. So this uh, Senator Shapiro is threatening to launch a criminal investigation into this. We better go and give that a, a watch and brief. Uh, Carter and Regan, um, you go and have a look at that one. That's... Uh, kind of detective thing, isn't it? You can do that. So uh, apparently Kamala has been kicking people out of rallies after they shouted something along the lines of Christ is King. Now I'm not quite sure if you're allowed to shout that in a rally or not, but uh, apparently we have to go and have a look at it because she started talking about the right for women to do things with their bodies and then they 
guys who were Christian students decided to shout this out. And then basically they got um, ganged up on by our supporters and flung out the venue. So I think there may have been an error of judgment on a few sides there. So we'll get that sorted out. Kirk and Tubbs, you can um, you can go and check that one out. And the motor pool have been on. Your rights to the Ferrari have been revoked. So you have to take something electric instead. Deal with it for a few days. Right, um, DIO sent us down a picture of a missing kid, 16-year-old that's on the loose. Hold on a minute. Oh, surely the DIO sent the wrong picture. Yeah, I, I disregard that, guys. I'll, um, I'll, I'll take that over the DIO. That can't be the right picture. We'll, we'll get the we'll get that sorted out. Right, uh, US Marine Corps veteran was removed from a Delta flight because her shirt offended the flight attendant. He, uh, this is uh, people just don't understand the offence that sh- t-shirts can cause. Her shirt read, do not give give in to the war within, end veteran suicide. She was escorted off the plane and had to remove her shirt to remain on on the flight. Well, that's a bit... Yeah, I think um, think we'll need to have a wee look at that because it seems maybe a little bit heavy-handed. So, good day and Habib, you two do this. I'm not sure if there's a crime here, but I'm sure you can uh, avoid it anyway. Right, King Charles was heckled by an Aussie senator claiming that he stole her land. Now, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. First of all, I think that's what she said, because you know how Australians have got this habit of making everything sound like a question? So while she appears to be throwing out statements, they all sound like questions. But anyway, yeah, it might have been more convincing if she'd been an Aborigine, but I don't know how King Charles stole her land. I can't work that one out, but you know, an allegation of theft is an allegation of theft. So, uh, Sipowitz, you and uh, you and Bobby take this. At least it'll be funny for anyone listening in. Oh, oh no, no like, don't, don't, don't take offence, Andy. I mean, come on, we know you are not the most eloquent speaker. But you, I'm sure you'll get on well with the Australians. Right, that's it. That's about it. Oh, yeah, Schneider, forgot about you. Yeah, slipped in at the end there, didn't you? Uh, yeah, you can do some report writing and uh, help out in the bar once you've finished that. And remember, people, let's be careful out there. Oh, Peralta, um, if you're doing that, that job at McDonald's round about break time, you know, you can bring me something in. Right. Get to it, guys. <laughs> 